Epilogue, The Last Gift Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to the finale of Professor Layton and The Last Spectre. This is the first Professor Layton game where if you miss certain puzzles, you are not able to complete them before finishing the main story. I always made it an effort to have all the puzzles done before actually finishing the game so that we could have the finale with no stones unturned. If you try to leave the area at this point, you could talk to some of the people in town, but none of them will have puzzles for you, even if you hadn't completed their puzzles yet. And if you try to go too far away from the Grand Plaza, Luke will tell you that he wants to go check up on Lucia. You unfortunately cannot solve every puzzle in the game before finishing the main game. I don't know why it's set up like that since that was never an issue in the previous games. They even gave you a warning before you headed into the final area in case you wanted to complete everything before finishing the game proper. But for this game, they decided to switch things up a bit. We can indeed get those puzzles on the save file, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just that we're going to have to see the story finale first. So I apologize if the format is a bit off from how I usually present things in all the previous latent LPs, but this is what I have to work with. Once you're ready, talk to Ariana. We defeated the Spectre. So we have, and we saved the town. Thank you, Luke. I'm so happy Lucia was here with me. We need to thank Lucia as well. Thank you for helping us. When everything calms down, I will apologize to everyone in town for leaving marks on their houses. If your apology is sincere, I think the town will forgive you. I will do that, I promise. We really did it! That was quite a trial, Professor. You won't be able to save from this point forward. Is that okay? Lucia, what's wrong? Ariana, the flute. Oh. Get back! The gate is giving way! Get to higher ground, everyone!
What is this? Is that? It looks like an entrance of some sort. Professor, how on earth can we get it open? The final puzzle of The Last Spectre. Puzzle number 144. The Ancient Crest. <sighs> In the UK version, it's called Lake Bottom Crest. Your only clue to the meaning behind this elegant crest is the accompanying poem. O oh, traveler to paradise, the winged sleepers yearn to dance. Only by touching the four fruits can you awaken them. Bird of illusion, raise your beak high, and so you shall lead our traveler into the sun-kissed paradise. Hint number one. This puzzle is chock full of riddles. Try taking them apart one by one. Which of them, which of the emblems along the rim of the crest refer to the four fruits? Try touching a few of them to see what happens. If you do it right, the sleeping birds will awaken with a glow. Hint number two. Did you wake the birds? If so, try petting them. You might notice a change. The poem says they will dance, so you can expect them to move in some way. Hint number three, the final part of this puzzle involves the bird of illusion and the sun. Of course, you can't always see an illusion with the naked eye. Manipulate the dancing birds to form the image of a bird with the sun above it. Super hint, use the stylus to move each bird into such a position that its inside border helps to form the silhouette of a bird kissing the sun above. You're very close now. Step into the light. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Fascinating. Why is this here? That's not the question. The question is, where does it lead? this place light comes in through the earthen ceiling and reflects off of these crystals hmm. that sunlight has supported the vegetation here and turned it into a verdant paradise so this is the golden garden it's an entirely untouched world I pictured it so differently with ancient ruins and gold everywhere such a paradise has more value than any amount of gold. It certainly means more to Ariana. What do you mean? The air here is untouched. As Emmy said, it is pure. Its properties may be able to cure your illness. Professor, really? I think Lucia knew this. She led Ariana here in order to cure her. Had Descarlet found this place first, that would not have been possible. And so, Lucia opposed Escalade at every turn, trying to stop him from discovering this paradise. And she did it all to help cure Oriana of her illness.
Beneath Miss Thallery Lake lies a lost world whose prehistoric ecosystem has been preserved to this day. This is Miss Thallery's true golden garden. To an archaeologist such as myself, our find is worth more than any amount of gold. That's amazing, Professor! Wow! place. She sacrificed her own life to be sure that yours would be saved. It's not fair. Did you hear what she said? What? I understood it. Lucia said thank you to you both. Time stands still down here, in this ancient paradise. Lucia must have been born here. I imagine she lost her parents while still young. It must have been lonely being the last of her kind. So she ventured out through the tunnels into the lake where she met Ariana and Tony. She needed friends after her parents died. So did we. It's true. Lucia came to visit us often. We were lonely as well. We only had each other. Our father made a fortune on the backs of the townspeople. And after he died, nobody would come anywhere near us. The two of us were on our own. We were all on our own. But that's not true, Ariana. We were all worried about you. Please, give us another chance. Luke, if you do that for me, I will do the same for you. I used my illness as an excuse to close myself off from the world. I see that now. The people in town didn't push me away. It was my own doing. When you feel better, you'll be able to open yourself up again. The whole town will be waiting for you. I think Lucia knew that somehow. Lucia just... She just wanted you to be happy again. She knew that we all need other people in our lives. Lucia was the last of her kind. Loneliness was all she knew, but she wasn't alone when she was with you. That's why she said thank you. Now it's my turn. Huh? Thank you, Lucia. As Ariana played her flute, I felt a warm breeze against my cheek. Even the trees seemed to honor the moment, 
and we found ourselves simply awestruck by the beauty of it all. It was a moment we would never forget. In the short time we had known her, Ariana had grown so much, and she could once again open her heart to those who cared for her. It was beautiful. Looks like it's all over, Professor. So who do we alert first? I mean, we discovered the Golden Garden. No, Emmy. We must keep this place a secret. What? At least, until Ariana recovers. That's a bit of a shame. Clearly, something like this. This could launch your career. You'll be in all the newspapers. Wouldn't that be great, Professor? <laughs> I suppose so. But don't worry, Emmy. I doubt this will be the last mystery we solve. There are countless puzzles out there in the world, and I will solve as many of them as I can. Someday I will solve that great puzzle meant only for me. Professor? Hmm? Please, sir. Let me go with you. I can learn from you. Please. I could be Professor Layton's apprentice. Well, I... Uh... Rest is history. That is Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Before I started Let's Playing all of these games, like I had said before, I'd only played through the Layton games once, so re experiencing all these stories is like a new experience because I only remember partial elements of them. There were things that were surprises to me and Getting to re-experience the emotion of all these characters, it always ends up meaning so much more to me than I ever could have expected. To be completely and totally honest with you, if I had to rank the six Professor Layton games of the main trilogy and the prequel trilogy, this would probably be my least favorite Professor Layton game in the entire series. That being said, there is no such thing as a bad Professor Layton game. This was still an incredible experience. I didn't know that I would have enjoyed finding out how Layton and Luke met each other as much as I did. I loved finding out exactly what it was that struck a chord with Luke that made him want to go on endless adventures with Professor Layton. I was iffy about whether I was going to like this new character, Emmy, but getting to see her again, it, it turned a light on that just sort of told me that there was something missing this whole time, and now that she's here, it just seems right. Everything seems complete again, and I am incredibly happy to have her here. Of course, Inspector Grosky is a joy, and there's so many other elements of this game as well. I love the music, of course. The animation and the voice acting just gets better and better over time. And there's a whole new air of mystery over this new entity known as Descale. Only time will tell if we could figure out who exactly he is and where he came from. But something I really appreciate about these games is that this game wasn't made as a cash cow. There is purpose behind it. Even though it's a prequel trilogy, even if you have already played the previous trilogy and know everything that happens in the future, I promise you that there is a whole other slew of mysteries to uncover in this series of games as well, and you do not want to miss them. This is the starting point. Every journey starts with a single step, and I promise you 1000% it only goes uphill from here on out. This is the last Professor Layton game on the Nintendo DS. This is the last time we are ever going to see these characters and this world in the style that we've been seeing it and experiencing it up to this point. Everything is going to change. The way you once knew it will be completely redefined in the later installments. And I honestly cannot wait to share that with you. Heck, I can't wait to experience it all over again for myself because I was just blown away. I remember being immensely impressed with everything I saw in the future. 
But that's a time for another day. I'm incredibly grateful that I get to have these little experiences, these little latent adventures once a year. It's just enough time to recharge my batteries, and it's always a warm welcome whenever I return to this world. It's a very incredibly precious game series to me, and I sincerely hope that if we were able to get one latent game of a certain other uh, name to it brought to the Switch, that we'll one day see these games brought to the Switch as well. The mobile ports have been up and running up until the first three games, but it's currently unknown whether or not the prequel trilogy is going to get the same treatment. I don't know how difficult it's going to be to get the 3DS games up and running on mobile, so maybe that's what's making them hesitant on bringing this one over, because it'd be kind of weird if they just brought over one game from the prequel trilogy, but not any of the others. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. However, there's also another element to the prequel trilogy that makes it not really a trilogy, but a quadrilogy. There was a Professor Layton anime movie that is not just a little spin-off adventure for your own enjoyment. You could skip that movie if you want, you won't really be confused going forward with anything in the 5th and the 6th Layton games. But if you do watch that movie after finishing Last Spectre, there will be some extra elements in later Layton games that will reward you for your time spent in that side story. And that is actually where we are headed next. But before that, we still have some work to do in Miss Thallery. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Luke, are you ready to go? Almost! Just let me say goodbye to my friends. Are you nervous? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be okay. Thank you. I knew you would. You were right. Everyone in town has been so nice to me. It feels so good to be surrounded by friends again. That's great. Will I see you again? Well, I think so. I mean, of course you will. Deal? Uh, uh, oh. mm. ah. A year later, Ariana fully recovered from her illness. The discovery of the Golden Garden was made public thanks to the work of an eminent archaeologist. It became known to all, as did the name of the man who solved its puzzle, Professor Herschel Layton. It appears that I underestimated Leighton. All things happen in good time. Don't worry, Master. Oh, I'm not worried. After all, patience is a virtue. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs>